one hour to catch the flight. I'm out of here. I hope everything turns out all right. I'll call you when I get back. Yeah, Moscow was a lot of fun, I'll tell you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see that the office is still in one piece. Yeah, yeah. Here, Jackie, this is for you. Thank you. What if I'm a little surprised? This is a CBS News special report. From Beijing, here is Susan Spencer. And in Beijing, the reports are coming fast and furious. Announcements from the government. First of all, there is a wire service report, several wire service reports, that martial law has now, in fact, been declared in parts of the capital. In addition, there is a warning out that foreigners should obey the government authorities, whatever that means. This all follows an earlier announcement that a curfew was in effect and that anyone who disobeyed the curfew could be subject to some sort of disciplinary action. The government has also to said that foreign journalists uh, should not either leave or enter the capital city of Beijing. Now, all of this follows a half an hour period here at the square of some confusion. There was a series of helicopters, a convoy of helicopters, five or six of them, that flew over Tiananmen Square. It was not obvious, it, looking at them, whether these were military helicopters, whether these were friendly helicopters, whether they were perhaps on a reconnaissance mission, or uh, simply an attempt to go by the square and see what was going on. The, uh, the, crowds were the crowds also had no idea what was happening. The helicopters flew around for two or three minutes and then left. In addition to that, uh, our own transmission from the square itself, Dan Rather has been broadcasting uh, all evening from the square itself, our transmission from Tiananmen Square has now been cut. Chinese television told us that under orders from the foreign ministry, all transmission from the square would have to end. It is also, and as you see there, that's what happened to us. It was also uh, announced that CNN, the network that has been broadcasting this as well, uh, would have its transmission cut at 10 o'clock local time. That was about 10 minutes ago. So events are almost outpacing the ability to keep up with them. It is obvious now that uh, what was a crackdown and then seemed to ease off uh, is going to be cracking down once again. The crowds are still in the square. This morning uh, they met a government convoy of soldiers there were embraces, there were hugs, and nothing happened. But it appears that the government's patience is running out, and we will keep you posted to our, the best of our ability, given the situation with the, uh, that they are imposing on journalists. We'll be back as soon as we can with more special reports. I'm Susan Spencer in Beijing. This has been a CBS News special report. In fact, I think I love you more than I thought I was ever capable of loving anybody.